It's been 41 days since I've been mining Caspa with the KS0 Ice River Miner. Today, we're gonna to look at the results and see how things are going. In my first video, I was predicting to break even around 40 days, and that didn't happen. I was making $27 a day. I'm making a lot less right now. We're gonna take a look at the numbers. I am, however, about 70% of the way there. It's just that last 30%, I think is gonna take a very long time. So about here is when I began mining Caspa, and it was over three cents, and I was very happy about that. And then it rose well over four cents, and it even touched five cents, which is an all-time high and then it's been coming down ever since then and now we're sitting basically at where I started at three and a half cents and Caspa difficulty is now over 15 petahash this is a one month view it's been a quick rise over the last month if I go to one year you can actually see how that is look at this this is insane I don't want to say that it's leveled off it looks like it leveled off a little bit but we know how this goes probably going to jump again once more KS3s come out but this is what we're looking at right now in terms of difficulty and I'll go over to the hash rate over here and we got pretty much the same picture here's a month view jump over to that one year chart and you can see this tremendous growth over the last month this has been crushing my earnings and that's what the hash rate looks like it's going to keep going up as the ks3s keep coming out uh, let's take a look at my daily earnings on august 13th it took a massive hit and it came down to 200 caspa and then it dipped down below to 100 it came back up and as you can see it's been going down steadily since then over the last three or four days i hate saying plateau but it did plateau a little bit uh, i'm not expecting it to stay here but you can see that we have 108 here on the 25th the 26th 27th and then on the 28th we have 107 uh, this is actually 107.8 so it's if you round it up it's basically the same thing let's go up to my totals you can see that i've earned since i started this project 15,713 Caspa. So I stuck with Humpool the whole time. I didn't use anything else. And my plan was for the first 40 days, stay exactly the way I'm doing things. And I haven't changed anything until today. So today is now day 41, and now I'm gonna be making adjustments and hopefully optimize what I'm making in profit. One of the number one things I was looking at doing and that I get asked the most is about solo mining. So I'm gonna be looking at solo mining this week. I'm actually gonna start configuring it and setting it up tomorrow. I'll also be making a quick how-to guide for anybody that's interested in doing it themselves. And I'll walk you through the steps after I've figured it out myself. So I've been watching what a lot of other users are doing with their KS0s and seeing how what they're modifying, what pools they're using, and if they're optimizing in any way. There isn't a whole lot of things that you can do. You can keep it cooler and your hash rate might go up a little bit, uh, but nothing significant. Nothing that's gonna boost earnings like solo mining might do. And because I'm at about 100 Caspa per day, I think I'm gonna hit that route and see how it goes, try it out for a little bit and see what happens. One of the other things that I'm doing is tracking the price of the Ice River KS0. We're at the Ice River site right now. The current price for the Ice River is $5.99. The shipping date for this batch right here is marked as August 28th to September 4th. Um, I'm thinking if you receive this sometime after September 4th, you're gonna be sadly surprised with the hash rate uh, as that's been increasing steadily. I totally think they'll be dropping the price once again. That has been the trend over the last three weeks. Once profitability drops enough, I don't think it's gonna be worth the $600 price tag they have right now. I'm hoping it drops a little bit lower and maybe it drops to roughly the prices of box miners from Gold Shell. So I was supposed to put out a video on DPR mining. Haven't done that yet. Uh, kids, summer's almost over. So I'm in the Sleep Money Club and we're talking about a whole bunch of different projects right now. And I'm not spec mining, I'm spec noting. I don't even know if that's a real term, but that's what I'm doing. So GBRX is one of the projects that recently came out about a week ago. It looks like the price has settled down. It's been all over the place. Here's a look at the Explorer. The coin supply is just over 68 million right now. They have 39 nodes, which is still a fairly low number. And with this node, I'm earning a little bit over 57,000 uh, GPRX. And if you time that, times that by the current price, which is 0 0.0018, uh, you're looking at about $100 a day. So that's a little over $100 a day that that one's making. It's highly profitable right now. Even at this price, it was making more just a week ago. If you get in early, obviously it's profitable until everyone jumps on board. Not a lot of people watch my videos, so it may not uh, spike just because I talk about it. I'm going to be doing an update in September that's going to discuss this as well as a variety of other projects that I've gotten into. There's a, quite a few of them that are highly profitable that we've been talking about in the Sleep Money Club, and I'll make sure I mention them in that update. And that's it for now. I'm going to get that KS0 solo mining. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.